Ooh. kissing her. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Jack, it's your turn to spin the bottle. Well, being a counselor at Camp Crystal Lake this summer is so much better than last year. Really? Yeah. Last summer, Jason Voorhees slaughtered 12 of my friends <laughs> and put a nasty ding in my dad's 96 Peugeot. Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh, you're telling me. My dad made me cover the ding in his Peugeot with my summer pay. No, no, no. I mean, the part about Jason Voorhees killing everyone. Yeah, that sucked too. Oh, <laughs> Did they catch him? They didn't have to. I hit him in the head with a 2 by 4 then pushed him into a wood chipper, which pulverized his body into liquid form. Oh, God. It was a just end for a bad guy, but it also totally ruined my sneakers. It's really hard to get membrane out of suede. Uh, what a bummer. Yeah. Totes. Well, hey, at least this year he's not going to ruin our, our summer, and he's not going to ruin another pair of kicks. Oh, my God. So true. Yeah. Right. Hmm. I wonder who that could be at the door. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, hey, guys, look. It's the goalie, Matt Murray, from the world champion Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh. oh! It's not a professional Canadian hockey player. It's Jason Voorhees. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. I'm not here to murder everyone. Well, that's a relief because I got these on special as foot locker. Jason, what are you doing here? I watched you get ground to a pulp in a wood chipper. Damn if I know. I guess I'm what they call resilient. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this bottle and finish the game outside. Don't no, mess with me. No, don't me here with this psycho. Well, see, that's the thing. I used to be a psycho, but that was the old me. So you're not a psycho anymore. That is, is, is an astonishing change. How did you do that? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> about six, seven months ago, I was about to meet Cleaver, a guy who I trapped in the corner of a barn, when all of a sudden it dawned on me. This is a never-ending cycle of violence. <laughs> that's, that's a really profound revelation. Yeah, I thought that was <laughs> I mean, sure, murdering, Dismembering, vivisecting, those were things that sort of defined me. My dad says that a man can't only be defined by his career. You got a smart dad there. <laughs> Thank you. I will let him know. You definitely should. <laughs> so as I was saying, I started thinking to myself, what's my end game? Will this never-ending stream of viciousness Ever help get me to my happy place? Did you did you find your happy place? No, yet! <laughs> but I'm working on it. I found a good therapist. Thank you, Obamacare. <laughs> this guy has really helped me work through a lot of my issues. Oh man, that's Made me really... confront my demons. That's so brave. Braver than you think. <laughs> Turns out my demons are actual demons. <laughs> Apparently, I'm in league with Satan. Hey, I mean, aren't we all at some point? I agree! I mean, sure, yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah, I agree. I mean, what's happening now is I'm starting to understand that the only path to a healthy life is through frank introspection. <laughs> so after working on me for quite a few months, my therapist, Dr. Klein, who lets me call him Rich, <laughs> he told me that in order to fully heal, I needed to reach out to others I may have harmed and seek their counsel and ask for their forgiveness. So you came here to apologize to me for murdering all of my friends and, you know, the cops. Oh, yeah, the Peugeot. I forgot about that. Hey, sorry for that and the whole murdering thing, too. I just don't know. I mean, the stuff you did was really bad. Hey, no one realized that more than me. Rich tells me all the time. He says, Jay, oh, by the way, I go by Jay now. <laughs> Jason was the old me. Jay really suits you. Thanks! <laughs> Rich tells me, Jay, you may have killed and maimed hundreds of people and left pain and anguish for their friends and family, but the person who is going to be the hardest on you is the one staring back at you in the mirror. 
Hey, hey, Jay, that's real deep, man. Yeah, that kind of got come a long way from that scared kid who was seeking never-ending bloodlust just because someone beheaded my mom in front of me. What? They did that in front of you? Damn it. You know, adults really need to know that their actions affect children. So true. <laughs> well, um, like I was saying, Jackie, real sorry about the pain I caused you. Um, I hope you can forgive me, but if you can, I totally understand. I don't know. Oh, come on, Jackie. Stop being such a rag. It was clearly hard for Jay to come out here and, you know, have his heart in the sleeve for you. Cut him a little slack. Because I want to, but I've just, I've been through a lot. I totally get it. <laughs> uh, if you need time to, to figure everything out, I'll give you my number. If you want to talk, work things out, I'm open to it. Marathons always start with the first step, am I right? I mean, that's true. I mean, I, I definitely could talk. That's all I can ask for. Hey, I brought someone with me I'd love to, to introduce you to. Uh, no, come on. Seriously, you're very nice. Just two minutes. Uh, <laughs> I brought my girlfriend with me. She gives me the strength to, you know, not up when I have to. It's fiance, not girlfriend. He's just still getting used to saying it. Hopefully by the time I pay off the ring, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you like it, then you got to put a ring on it. Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> Barbara and I met in a pottery glazing class. Jay is an artist with clay. I saw one vase he molded and boom, head over heels. Oh my god, that's Who so knew? cute. You two are perfect for one another. Don't I know it. <laughs> Oh. Barb? Yeah. Barb, this is Jackie. She's the one I, well, you know. Thank you so much for giving Jay a second chance. He's really changed. I mean, I hope so. Yeah. Don't we all? Jay, I think we've taken up enough of these good people's time. We better get going. You're right. Hang on. Oh. 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 There you go. Here's my number. Call me anytime if you want to talk, except Sundays during the day. After church, we help at a pet rescue. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> that is terrific. Thanks. So, sorry to take up your time. Oh, hey, you don't have to leave so quick. No, no, we've been treated for long enough. Wait, are you going to play spin the bottle? Yeah. Second thought. I think we could say a few minutes more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.